Hi everyone. Now we are going to discuss about food preservation topic in food microbiology. There are several reasons for preserving food in order to supply the food continuously not only throughout the year and to the people of distant places the food need to be stored and transported without any loss. So proper food preservation not only ensures the continuous food supply but also keeps away the foodborne diseases. So these are few reasons for which we want to preserve the food. Development of suitable preservation method requires the thorough knowledge of different aspects of the food as well as spoilage organisms. Many methods of food preservation are developed from time to time. However, most of the methods are merely the modification of systems used in ancient time. So before going into the types or methods of food preservation, let's go with the introduction about what is meant by food preservation, then what are the principles involved in the food preservation. Definition. Food preservation can be defined as a process by which foods are treated to retard, that means slow down, or retard or decay of or spoilage. So that means food preservation in a simple form we can define as a process by which foods are treated to retard, decay or spoilage. And other definition is food preservation is a process of treating and handling food to stop or slow down food spoilage, loss of quality, edibility or nutrition value and thus allow for longer food storage. Then coming to the principles that are involved in food preservation, majorly two. One is prevention or delay of microbial decomposition and the second one prevention or delay of self decomposition of the food. Uh, prevention or delay of microbial decomposition is mainly by uh, keeping out microorganisms that is asepsis matter by removal of microorganisms that is by filtration or by preventing the growth and activity of uh, microorganisms by using uh, low temperatures, drying or chemicals. So those are the main principles involved in delaying of microbial decomposition. Then self-decomposition of the foods, uh, the principles involved are majorly by the destruction or inactivation of food enzymes. Example is blanching and then prevention of oxidation by means of antioxidants and prevention of damage uh, caused by insects and animals. So let's come into the methods of food preservation. Uh, foods can be preserved by a variety of methods. The chief methods are number one, asepsis, number two, removal of microorganisms and this removal of microorganisms can be done by either by filtration, centrifugation, washing or trimming and the third method is modification of environmental and then use of high temperature and then use of uh, low temperatures, drying or water removal, decrease of water availability, chemical preservation and radiation. So we are going to discuss about these nine methods of food preservation. Sorry, here the spelling is going to be of uh, preservation. It has come as prevention. It's a preservation. Okay, so just uh, make a note of it. Um, next continuation of this uh, methods of food preservation, the first one is asepsis and we go in due to the detail of uh, first one asepsis. What is meant by asepsis? It is a method of avoiding 
and minimization the microbial contamination of the foods right from raw material to the finished product and how you are going to attain this asepsis and what are the aseptic methods that you are following number one preventing contamination during handling only while handling the food uh, from the harvested region only you are supposed to have the preventing of contamination and then maintaining good hygienic practices proper heat treatment and sealing techniques will come under the asepsis then coming to the second type removal of microorganisms removal of uh, microorganisms from food may be accomplished by filtration centrifugation washing trimming filtration is the most effective method for successful removal of microorganisms however its use is limited to clear liquids only that means we can uh, just remove the microorganism from the liquid solutions like fruit juices wines soft drinks beer and water then the second type is centrifugation or sedimentation it is not an effective method but still uh, it is being used in milk industries just to remove some microorganisms but not all and the third one is the washing washing fr fresh fruits and vegetables remove soil microorganisms or organisms that might be resistant to heat process and the last but not least is the trimming Trimming away spoiled portions of food or discarded spoiled samples is helpful in food preservation. Trimming the outer layers of cabbage heads is recommended for manufacture of saucer cart. The third type of uh, methods of food preservation is modification of environment, microbial growth and thus spoilage of foods can be retarded with the modification of the storage environment. Therefore, three different processes are being used to modify the atmospheric surrounding a product. They are number one, vacuum packing. Number two, modified atmosphere packing, that is MAP, simply called as. And the third one, control atmosphere packing, that is CAP, C-A-P. Coming to the first one, vacuum packing. In vacuum packing, the product is placed in a bag from which the air is evacuated, causing the bag to collapse around the product before it is sealed. Then, uh, what are the things that packing of cooked meat or fish and prepare salads? Everything is going to be of vacuum packing. And the second type is modified atmospheric packing. In modified atmosphere packing, a bulk or retail pack is flushed through with a gas mixture. What is that gas mixture that we are using here is carbon dioxide, oxygen and nitrogen. Here, the carbon dioxide is included for its uh, inhibitory effect and then coming to the nitrogen. Nitrogen is non-inhibitory but prevent pack collapse when high concentration of carbon dioxide are used. And the third one is uh, oxygen, where uh, delay the development of oxidative rancidity. So that's all about the map, modified atmosphere packing. And then help uh, the product that we are going to use this technique to preserve is red meat. Then the third type is CAP, CAP, in control atmospheric storage. It is mainly used for bulk storage and transport of foods, particularly fruits and vegetables. Cap is also used in an aluminium foil. Uh, sorry, uh, cap is also used for shipment of chill lamp and primal cuts. And here, these are kept in an aluminium foil laminate bag under an atmosphere of 100% carbon dioxide. Remember, in the modified atmosphere, just we are using a some percent of carbon dioxide. And in the vacuum, we are not using any kind of the gases. And in the third type, is 100% carbon dioxide is being used in a controlled atmosphere packing. That's all about the third type of uh, methods of food preservation. That is modification of environment. That means we are modifying the environment that is present surrounding the food. Then the fourth type is use of high temperature. 
the use of high temperatures to preserve food is based on their destructive effects on microorganisms. The destruction of heat is supposed to be due to denaturation of proteins and especially to the inactivation of enzymes required for metabolism. Following are some of the important concepts that we have to discuss under this um, high temperature. The first one is TDT and TDP. The TDT means thermal death time. The, time, the temperature, the time necessary to kill the given number of organisms at specific temperature. Then TDP, thermal death point, the temperature necessary to kill the given number of microorganisms at a fixed time usually 10 minutes. D value, decimal reduction time where 10% of the microorganisms are to be destroyed at a given time. Z value gives the relative resistance of organisms to different temperatures. Then F value is the time in minutes required to destroy the organisms at 250 degrees Fahrenheit which is equal to 121 degrees Celsius. Today, two types of heat process are employed to destroy the microorganisms in food. They are number one, pasteurization and number two is the apatization. Pasteurization it is a heat treatment to kill microorganisms, only the pathogenic organism but not all. And here one note is the temperature is below 100 degrees centigrade. So we can have this pasteurization applicable to milk, ice creams, your grape wine, grape juice, vinegar at different types of temperatures and times where the temperatures are below 100 degrees only. This is the condition where pasteurization is going to be and Luis Pasteur is the one who uh, first uh, invented this type of the technique in the pasteurization of uh, grape wine and the milk. Then so coming to the second type is apatization which is very very important topic. Commercially, this apartization is also called as canning, and this uh, was first put forward by Nicholas Eppert, that was the name was came as Eppert. Eppert described his invention as a way of conserving all kinds of food substances in con containers. Definition is the foods be preserved for quite a longer duration of time when heated and stored in aer anaerobic condition. A part succeeded in preserving meals in glass bottles that had been kept in the boiling water for varying periods of time. So commercially sterile it is being called as apartization. Steam under pressure canning can be done. Canning, what is a canning? Canning is defined as a preservation of foods in sealed container and this can be done by having these steps that is cleaning, blanching, filling of cans or jars, autoclaving and so that's all about the first four types of methods of food preservation and from the fifth part we'll go with the next part that is part two thank you